hello what's up youtube in this video i'll show you my skin retouching hacks or tricks that i tend to use from one time to another every single time i'm doing skin retouching in photoshop especially using frequency separation so these hacks are going to help you identify and look at your photo from a way different perspective so let me just share those and maybe some of them you may be familiar with them and others you may not be familiar with them so let's just kick in with this very tutorial and if at all you find this helpful don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if at all you're not subscribed to this channel so i'm just going to come and i play my 16-bit frequency passion action just here and this is not going to be a detailed video like i always do so i'm just going to play my 16-bit frequency separation action and this is the step where you determine the amount of detail that you want to remain with in your image so usually i look for a reference area that has more textures and i move the radius and blur them out and stop at the point when they are trying to disappear from the overall image and i hit ok so usually you may be having your frequency separation action without uh, the things i'm about to show you in this video so I'm just going to collapse that and I'm going to delete the black and white layer. So remember when you're doing frequency separation or skin retouching, we just want to play around with the color values in the image so that we can blend or even out the transitions within the image. So the very first hack I tend to use, for example, if at all, let's first of all set up the mixer brush tool and we see how we can apply it right in this very video so i'm just going to rush through the settings so right click and come to the mixer brush tool and this is photoshop 2020 so a settings clean brush i select i select the second option which is clean the brush after each and every stroke the weight is 9 load 75 mix at 90 and the flow at 100 percent so skin retouching is usually on the low frequency layer when you're using the mixer brush tool so i'm just going to select the low frequency layer and I come to this option which says sample always make sure this option is not checked so that I just hope you already know so we are done setting up the mixer brush tool so in order to even out the transitions within the skin tone and blend them and have those even transitions within your image the very first hack I tend to do or to use is just come to the texture or high frequency layer and I deactivate it so when I deactivate it right now, I can see the colors quite well and every area that doesn't have even skin tone transition. So I'm just going to come and just rush through the blending process because I don't want us to take long. You can see that this shows you the colors in real time. Just look at how you're blending and it is just an advantage when you turn off the texture layer that you only look at the colors in real time and you just paint over them and you blend them so you can see everywhere where you have those blotchiness or those bumps caused by uneven transitions within the colors or the skin tone so just going to paint through so i'm just trying to do a very rough job using the mixer brush tool and reduce on the size by using the open and close brackets on the keyboard so i keep on playing around with different sizes so I just want to do a very rough job here and I show you the next hack right now because the next hack also uh, is more like this very first one and I just want to show you what I tend to do in the next hack. So I'm just going to do this. So I, I'm basically doing a very rough job to show you a clear picture. So you can take your time every single time you're retouching your images. So you can see that we have just done a very rough job and the image looks fine. So you can see right now you may be looking at the image and you feel like it is very nice and okay. But sometimes you may not have blended uh, the skin tones quite well because when you're looking at the image when it is in its color form or in its colored form or nature, you may not look at the mistakes or you may not easily identify those mistakes that's why after using this option for turning off the textures so after you have done the blending process using the mixer brush tool make sure you come back and turn on the texture layer and you get back the information 
within the text here. So the second hack that I usually use is I use this check layer of a black and white layer. So I select the high frequency layer and I create a black and white layer in between or on top of the high frequency layer. So select the high frequency layer, come to the adjustments and you come to black and white. So after doing that, I come to the red channel, left click and drag it towards the left hand side. And I can come and brighten up the yellows a little bit. So I'm just going to darken the reds even more. So this tends to help me better to see the areas I may have missed out when I'm trying to blend the skin using the mixer brush tool. So let me just zoom out a little bit. So let me first of all turn off the black and white. Right now you can see like you have done a really perfect job. But when you turn on the black and white layer, you can see that we miss out blending some areas like this one right here which is very hard to see when the image is in its color form so that is the second hack i tend to use when it comes to using frequency separation so i use the black and white layer technique and also the technique of turning off the texture layer or the high frequency layer and after doing all that usually those who have watched most of my tutorials i tend to use also the mixer brush tool alongside the lasso tool technique so after you have used the mixer brush tool usually turn off the texture layer okay we turn off rather the black and white layer after checking and seeing that we have done a very nice and clean job trying to blend or even out the skin tone transitions then we come back and we select the low frequency layer then we come and get the lasso tool usually i recommend new selection mode active and the feather 22 pixels and and alias is selected so usually in order to see how effective your lasso tool is going to be working on your image come back and turn off the high frequency layer so when you turn it off and we come to this process and we apply uh, our lasso tool just come and we just apply a selection or we select the area of the skin so usually I have my figures that I tend to use and these always work best for me on every image. So we usually come to filter blur and we come to Gaussian blur. So when you're using this technique or this step, you have to be knowing the calculation I tend to use when I'm doing frequency separation. So usually we have the radius that we're using when we're blurring out the details in the first step when we are playing our frequency separation action. So usually I just multiply this radius by 3. So whichever radius you may have used on your image, just multiply that radius by 3 and just type in that value. So 7 by 3 is 21 and I'm just going to type in 2, 1. So just look at how even the skin is now looking. So it is even quite better in this case. So I'm just going to come and I apply the effect like with the texture layer turned off. So I'm just going to right click and come to Gaussian Blur. Or you can as well turn on the black and white layer to see this even better. And you continue applying your lasso tool technique to refine or fine tune the image. Just look at that effect and how it has just applied on that area. And you can see that it is very perfecting and satisfying when you work with the black and white layer or without the texture layers. So just look at this and just look at the image. So when you come and return off the texture or the black and white layer and return on the texture layer, just look at how nice and perfect that has turned out to be on this image. So the next hack I tend to use is when it comes to removing the blemishes or skin imperfections, I come and get the lasso tool, the rather the, I don't know what's wrong with me. I come and get the clone stamp tool. So after getting the clone stamp tool, the settings I tend to use uh, hardness is 50%, or percent the flat 100%. Then I select the texture layer and activate the black and white layer. The reason for this is because right now when you are using the black and white layer, you can see every skin imperfection quite well or even better. So when I turn off the black and white layer, some imperfections may be hidden and it's very hard to work when you are seeing the blemishes in the color mode so i tend to turn on this black and white layer and i can just come and sample holding on alternate left click and sample and paste over the blemish and you can see this 
it helps me identify or it helps my eyes identify the blemishes very quick and I tend to eliminate them just look at uh, this and I just identify them well and better and I don't have all the time to stress around trying to locate those blemishes so I turn off the black and white and just see what we have just done right in this image so that is the next hack then the last hack I would recommend to or I would recommend you to always use is when it comes to eye whitening just come to the hue and saturation just create that and just come to the master and just desaturate your image after run negative 93 close this and select the white layer mask and hit ctrl command i on the keyboard to invert that so you select the white layer mask and hit ctrl i or you can click ctrl i or command i on the keyboard to hide or invert that effect you come and get your brush that is a soft round brush the hardness has to be at 0 and the flat 100 percent make sure white is on the foreground in order to reset to have black and white click on these two small boxes and switch between black and white you can use the x on the keyboard or click on this arrow and just come and paint on the white area to whiten the eyes just look at how nice and natural the eyes have turned out to look and if at all you make a mistake and you want to erase the effect switch back and have black and on top and you can erase it from that area on which i've made the message so those are just my hacks that i tend to use in my day-to-day -day retouching process in photoshop and if at all you have found this helpful don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe if at all you have been watching from this channel for the very first time ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching i'll see you in yet more amazing trolls and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating